With all the boring drab compacts out there, we set out to find the perfect combination of sport, appeal and practicality. And while hot hatches like the VW GTI and the Mazda Speed 3 are good choices, they're a little too hardcore. We're looking for something for the everyday driver, what we like to call the lukewarm hatch. So we decided to pit Hyundai's 2013 three-door sport coupe, the Loster Turbo, against Scion Special Edition TCRS 8.0 to find out which one's got the sportier performance as well as real-world common sense. Here's the Veloster Turbo. Its 1.6 liter four cylinder engine is turbocharged to make 200 horsepower and 195 pounds feet of torque. The six speed manual manages to get 24 miles per gallon in the city, 35 miles per gallon on the highway, and 28 miles per gallon overall. The automatic's very close. It gets 24 miles per gallon in the city, 31 miles per gallon on the highway, and 28 miles per gallon overall. The Veloster Turbo starts at $21,950. You can add an automatic transmission for $1,000 more. And for $2,500 more, you get the ultimate package, which adds a panoramic sunroof, leather seating, backup camera, navigation, parking sensors, and LED headlights. All right, you want to get the goods on the Scion TCRS. Here they are. First and foremost, the engine is a 2.5 liter, giving you 180 horsepower as well as 174 pound feet of torque. The available transmissions are automatic with the paddle shifting and the manual transmission. When it comes to fuel economy, the TCRS 8.0 gets you 23 miles per gallon in the city as well as 31 mpg on the highway. Last but not least, when it comes down to price, the manual transmission starts at 21815 as well as the automatic, which goes for 22865 And once again, that comes with sequential shifting and paddle shifters unique to this particular model. The Veloster is a fresh looking small car and the turbo really amps up the details. Look at that unique shape. This model comes with these really cool chrome rims. It's got these really nice LED headlights as well as these huge tailpipes at the back and this aggressive looking front grille. All right, let's talk about the exterior styling of the Scion TCRS 8.0. As you can see, it's brasher and bolder than the Veloster Turbo. And for good reason, it's a collaboration between the Five Axis Studios as well as Toyota's racing development program. First and foremost, it comes exclusively in red. It's got black side mirrors, which actually match the 18 inch alloy rims. It's also stylized with a unique five-piece body kit, which makes it look stunning, as well as a center rear exhaust pipe, which does the trick in giving it an aggressive growl. Also, the TC's got exclusive badges, which set it apart from the regular TC. And last but not least, it's got some great lowering springs, which give it that low, aggressive look. Where the Veloster really trumps the TC is with its features. A well-designed center console flows right from the push-button ignition, and at the top of it all is the seven-inch touchscreen which has navigation and a rear view camera. Two things that aren't even an option on the TC. The Veloster has luxurious leather seating with nice stitching as well as these turbo badges in the seats. And if you want, you can plug in your Xbox, PlayStation or DVD player because the Veloster has an auxiliary port as well as an AC power outlet in the armrest. Finally, one last advantage that the Veloster holds over the TC is its third door. Unlike the TC, it's very easy for passengers to get into the rear seats. Although the Veloster is smaller overall than the TC, it still has a lot of cargo room. And once you fold those back seats, you can really see how practical the Veloster is. Inside the Scion TCRS 8.0, it feels good. Starting with the materials within the interior, you've got a nice textured feeling here, almost like suede, and the seats are actually very similar to what you would find in the FRS. It's got red stitching as well, which gives it that sporty look. You can find that stitching as well on the steering wheel, which has got functions on it, specifically just for radio, and I like that. You've also got paddle shifters within the actual steering wheel column, which make that a little sporty too. Dashboard's very clean, 
With regards to the center stack, it's twisted toward the driver, making it very much a cockpit-like feeling. And when it comes to rear passenger legroom and headroom, you've got some more than what you would find in the Veloster Turbo. Also, there's two nice panoramic sunroofs that make this place very airy and very hospitable. When it comes to the trunk space, you've got a lot of trunk space as well. Now, the Veloster Turbo has 20 more horsepower than the Scion TC, and you can really feel it. Under acceleration, this thing really gets going. Although it's not too powerful, you can still have some fun with this car uh, and manage to stay out of trouble. As a lukewarm hatch, the Veloster Turbo doesn't have the same sportiness as the Scion TC. It doesn't have that TRD suspension and steering feel. In fact, the suspension of the Veloster Turbo is a little floaty, and that's not very good for sporty driving but in everyday driving conditions, like in the city, it's pretty comfortable. Some people have complained about Hyundai's shifters before. I find this one nice and tight and easy to use. Now the turbo model of the Veloster has a quicker steering rack than the non-turbo, and that's pretty nice. It's not too fast like you'd expect in some hot hatches like the GTI or the Mazda Speed 3, but it's not really humdrum like an Elantra. Overall, driving this car, I kept wanting that tight suspension feel that the Scion TC has, especially with those TRD springs. They put some extra effort in the tailpipes, and you can hear it all the time in the TC. This thing's a little quieter, uh, it's not as rambunctious, but it still lets you know that it has more bite than the average Veloster. All right, here's a few things about driving this particular vehicle. For one, the exhaust note in the rear will always get your attention and the attention of people on the outside. It's loud, it's brash, and it gives you that presence. What makes this vehicle better than Veloster is that the Veloster has a lot of body roll. Sammy will tell you that. This vehicle doesn't, and the reason for that is the TRD coil spring suspension enhancements. You can definitely feel it on this vehicle. It makes it stiffer and a better drive overall. After driving both cars, we each have our opinion on the better lukewarm hatch. While the Scion TC has good looks, good suspension, and the exclusivity of being a special edition, it isn't the key choice in this comparison. And though it might not be the fastest car around, the Veloster Turbo is the good combination of style, performance, and conveniences. If you're looking for a sporty little compact car, well it's great for city driving as well as the daily commute.